popping down there later, Chris. Might be closed by the time we're finished. It's really been a wonderful event here. We've a wonderful stadium, wonderful band. And just one more semi-final to come. And it is the number one seed, Stan Yang Zhe and Huang Dong Ping up against the Olympic bronze medalists Yuta Watanabe and Arusa Higashina. Well, the first semi-final was totally one-sided with some absolutely brilliant rallies. Scoreline does not reflect the quality of the mixed doubles match, but that really was the scoreline with the defending champions beating the reigning world champions with a loss of just 17 points. The four pairs in the semi-final, the top four seeds at the start of the competition here in Hangzhou. So the number one seeds led out by Fang Yang Zhe, the tallest player in the tournaments. Just under six foot five. And his partner, the Olympic gold medalist, Huang Dong Ping, also a winner here at the World Tour Finals, won in Guangzhou in 2018. So to the Olympic... It was yesterday, 21-17 in the deciding game to the Chinese pairs, and they took the group. That side. Point. Terrible receive. You serve. You serve. And I couldn't really hear that, uh, but I think they've chosen ends. Here is the tall man, Fang Yangzhe, in his first ever World Tour Finals. Twenty-two years of age, born in Tianjin on the northeast coast. That's the same place as Jai Fan was born, who was in the women's doubles final. And currently one place down from their career high of number three. Wang Dongping, the Olympic champion, is looking to reach a third final at the World Tour Finals, because not only did she win in 2018, also lost in the final in 2019 with the partner with whom she won the Olympic gold medal, Huang Ilu. She has been world number one. That was with her former partner. And they've had a terrific year. Nine World Tour Tournament Finals, winning seven of them. Well, on Wednesday, they beat uh, Chen and To from Malaysia, and they needed three games to beat the two-time former champions, Puavar and Nukro and Tehrat Tanachai. Yuta Watanabe is 26 years of age, and he's looking to reach a fourth World Tour tournament final because he was twice a finalist in the men's doubles with Hiroyuki Endo, both in 2018 and 19. And I think Hiroyuki Endo is going to be on the coaching bench for him here today. Arisa Higashino is 27, all smiling. 
lovely personality born in Sorachi on the island of Hokkaido. Not the tallest of athletes, 160 is about five foot three. And they were world number ones for one precious week from the 8th of November last year. Currently number two on the world rankings. They were in five World Tour tournament finals this year, winning two of them. The two they won were both Super 750 events, India and Japan. Uh, so they had three games uh, against uh, Chen and To, but lost that. Uh, lost their match yesterday to their opponents of today. Uh, so got through by only winning one match within the group. Our court officials, uh, Gunas Lusveras from Latvia and Diraj Gunadre from Mauritius, the service judge. Chinese mixed doubles coach must be pretty satisfied with his first pair that played the first mixed doubles semi-final. That was absolutely outstanding. There is Hiroyuki Endo on the right as we're Hong looking Yang at them. Zhu Jeremy Gan, Dong the Bing, other coach. China. Huang Dongping to serve to Arisa Higashino. Level. Boy. So the number one seeds, Feng Yang Zhe and Huang Dongping, far side of the court, getting this last semi-final underway. One love. Well, a first full year on tour for Feng Yang Zhe and Huang Dongping as a partnership. They played four tournaments at the end of last year, reaching the final of both the Denmark Open and the event in Saarbrücken. But my goodness, Chris, haven't they done well this year? Nine finals, including seven titles. That's extraordinary for a first year on tour. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. It is incredible. And yesterday when I was watching Fung play, he seems to be getting almost better and better each kind of two, three or four tournaments. He's, he's improved from the beginning of the year to now. And yesterday he played so well throughout the match. It was just a short period of time we had a dip in his level. But he's still so young. Yeah, only 22 years of age. Yeah, I think the dip you were referring to was when they were a game in 1915 up and then lost six straight points. Yeah. So that the, this Japanese pair forced the deciding game. Oh, that's a lovely change of pace from you to Watanabe. That's a shot I don't think we saw quite enough of yesterday. And I get it, he's got to be in the right position to be able to play. He can't play all the time. He needs to hit the power to push his opponents back. But I only remember a handful at max of stop drops yesterday. So it's over. Three, two. Oh, my goodness, that was an ambitious shot to try from Watanabe. Four, two. Got great skills, Watanabe, the left-hander. But also, we were discussing yesterday, weren't we, Chris, his vision to see the gaps and find the gaps. Good flick serve.
It's an interesting point you make, Chris, about the weather being colder today and therefore the shuttle isn't flying quite as quickly. It's noticeable, isn't it? Yep. I was just thinking yesterday, Fung, when he was attacking, the Japanese were really, really struggling with his attack. You know, he's very, very tall and he's got a big smash. In that rally, no one's really troubled. And, and this is the thing where it's so important that when the conditions do change slightly, you make that change as well. And it is going to be, you have to build the rally a little bit more. You need that, that variation, that accuracy. The, they're even more important. You can't just use the big power. So with the slower conditions today, who, which pair do you think that will suit more? I'd say technically, I, I think it will suit the Japanese more just because I think their defense is better. Um, and they haven't got to be quite as concerned. They're obviously still got to be concerned about the, the big smash, but slightly less of a threat. And what we've both identified about Yuta is he's good at finding the gaps. Yeah. So when it is slow, it's integral that you make your opponent move and you do gap find. It's about outmaneuvering your opponent. That's going wide, yep. Yeah, he's not even trying to hit it that hard, is he? Oh, good punch clear. Yep. Oh, it's landed in. That's a misjudgment from Wang so Dongping. Oh, that's a good shot. Did that come off the frame? Yeah, I can't believe that was intentional. I mean, Seven, the outcome was exceptional, six. but I think there was a little bit of luck there. Very deep in the defensive six. stance there, Fang Yangzhe. 
I'll show you conditions wise how it can favor different pairs. Yesterday was definitely a quicker haul and Chinese looked definitely looked the better pair for the vast majority of the match. But the way this has started, Japanese looks so comfortable with the slower speed of the shuttle. talked about that defensive shot yesterday didn't we my goodness me where he plays the backhand defense and drives it across court that is simply sensational Inside the back line. Eight, nine. There, where Riss has tried to go cross, not got it high enough or deep enough. Wang Dong Ping can make a fairly comfortable interception. So important when you go through the middle, you can either do it if you're hitting in a downward direction or if you get it over and past the net player. taken by Wang Dongping. She's always, I would, I would describe her as a reliable player. She always seems to put in a, a solid performance. Yeah, she's, she is a fantastic player. Very solid. Rarely do you see her have a bad, a bad day. Yeah. That's clever from you to Watanabe. Well, you wanted to see more of those stop drops, Chris. You got one there. Yeah, and it's for me it is. It's the best stop drop from any doubles player in the world. It is so deceptive. Oh, behind the back. But it is Yuta Watanabe and Orisa Higashino who have the advantage here at the mid-game interval of the opening game.
Did exactly the right thing there, Larissa. She had it, just fractionally pushed out the back. from Wang Dongping. Well, Absolutely brilliant. I do you feel since the break, Fung has been a lot more active. He's been hunting the shuttle, covering. A lot more aggressive in his movement, which is key when it is slow. You have to fill the gap. line in that situation because does she have to try and kill it probably not but when it's sitting there it's hard to resist you almost want to just get it in a downward direction to make sure you get the the shorter high lift for your partner well, the run of four straight points so comes to an end Great move by Arissa on that point. Saw where the shot was going, chased it down. There, great move. Isn't it? And then didn't do too much with the shot, just push it in a downward direction into the gap. Oh, dear me. Just took a little bit longer to serve then. You tell, I don't know if he had two different options in his mind. Oh, he pays the compliment.
what a good drop shot. this rally of the match so far. Indeed it was, 103 shots. Showing how important it is, you've got to be patient. You have to work the rally for the opening because in these slower conditions, if you go too early, you can open your partnership up. The defences on display are quite, well, not quite, they're very, very impressive. 15, He thought about leaving that. It's the placement on that smash. You see here, look at the gap. It's not quite far enough across. Fung, you can see it's kind of gone inside tram. And that's what's done the damage. The placement is just wide enough out of his comfort hitting zone. but just wrong shot too low to be trying that oh that's well left oh there's a challenge here from Watanabe already made one service error. And I suspect that's another.
No. Broken strings. Chinese working together as a team, covering every gap. 18, Almost impossible for the Japanese to be able to get that away. Just here, just relentless pressure. Fung stepping up. Thank you. become a bit fast and furious. I think somebody needs to slow it down. It's when you need the change of pace, the drop shot. Turn to serve. Hanged on ping. Serve didn't look that loose. Sharp on it. Good pressure return at Utah's body. Oh, that's a super smash. Brilliant smash from Yuji. You can see that the Chinese, Wang Dongping, stayed in the middle. So Fung has got to cover both sides. Brilliant accuracy. 19 all. Who's going to have the game point opportunity?
as he almost did the splits there as he retrieved that one. Fanny and Joe. Well done it. The opening game in favour of the number one seeds, Fang Yangzhe and Huang Dongping. 21-19. Open game lasting 29 minutes. So the umpire calls for the start of the second game. Number one seeds Feng Yangzhe and Huang Dongping. One game to the good. Just long of the back line. Well, these two Japanese players played again, played together as juniors, and you were telling me during that break that since the age of 15, when you to Watanabe was 15, they've been playing together for 11 years, which is half the age of Fang Yangzhe, which sort of puts things into perspective, doesn't it? They haven't been playing together a little longer than 11 months. <laughs> Japanese, 11 years. Oh, that's well played. Are you also telling me, Chris, about another Yuta Watanabe? Yep, when I was having a hunt for interesting bits on Yuta, I found a, I'm not sure he'll be happy me saying this, because there is a more famous Yuta, who is a basketball player who plays for the Phoenix Suns. Slightly taller than the one we've got in front of us at six foot nine. Good gracious. to make our Utah, the Bambleton Utah, would maybe have a, something to say about who's more famous? Uh, I think, well, if he's playing in America, the basketball player, then you know, basketball is very popular in America, but I'm pretty certain that Utah Watanabe is a household name, a badminton player in, in Japan. For his Olympic medal, home Olympic medal. Yeah and for all his success. Yeah, I can see why he wanted to, to keep that going down. But the Chinese pair had done well to move him right across the court.
good punch clear again. Oh, they both went for it, got in each other's way. Again, it's that incredible stop drop. And it is so effective when the conditions are slight. Well, I mean, it's effective all the time. I think I've, we've seen more today in just over a game than we saw all of yesterday from Utah. Bang. Three, two. And that was quite a clever shot from Utah. I think it was the right shot. That's where the gap was. Three, all. combination in the first of this match to say the graphics that go around the hall when a challenge it happens they do look incredible in this challenge in this amazing arena one challenge remaining service over four three play today from Utah. Just say it's quite uncharacteristic, normally so consistent on his serve. He's got such a tight serve. was only wide by a whisker, you know. Thank you. And she did well because she was diving and she took her racket away. She was going to play that. Five, four. momentum of that rally was changed with that delightful block from Wang Dongping. Yep, totally agree, and it was put into the space, stretched the Japanese. This one here, and then Yuta actually does really well to get that, but Fung just too much pressure, takes it early. Sharp there from Marissa. Good poke and then brilliant cutout.
Thank you. Thanks. Back and forth. Thanks. Seven. Five. Oh. oh, that's a good shot. Seven, all. Swim steps in really well there. Takes it early, short back swing, just a punch. Utah was on the full stretch. I don't believe it. What a rally. How on earth did they win that rally? They were in all sorts of trouble. The dive from Wang Dongping. Look, they both left it for the other there. Then Wang Dongping's at the back of the court. Then she has to dive at the front. And then Fang Yangjie gets back. The smash and gets it back with interest. That is absolutely sensational. Eight all. That's a misjudgment. Three straight points. Wow, brilliant defence. Brilliant by Fang Yanja. And on a run of four straight points, they go to the mid-game interval with a three-point advantage. Play. 
So the first thing the Japanese pair need to do is stop this run of points. Four straight points before the mid-game interval for Feng Yangzhe and Wang Dongping. Uh, he was uh, a little too upright in his defensive stance on that occasion, I think, Fang Yangzhe. Standing with straight legs, you've really got to bend your, your knees and be ready to move if necessary. Especially when you're as tall as him. Yeah. Oh, that's one left. Service over. Ten. Oh, beautiful slow drop, and again. Oh, that's a bit loose that time. Well, he's suffering physically, I think, Fang Yangzhe. We thought that yesterday, though, didn't we, Chris? Yeah. I don't know if it is just his body language. He's a bit... He's a tall guy, and he's sort of... He's a bit of unique kind of walk around the court. Oh, look how they almost... Caused a bit of a mishap there. I thought that he might have actually hit Wang Dongping's hand when he tried to play. That's oh, brilliant. that's just wonderful, isn't it? 13, 11. Get ready. Arisa, get ready. What a great foot serve. That is superb. Yeah, and this is what I love about Wang Nong Ping. She she almost hides these extra skills that she has. She waits so that the opponent isn't sure what's going to happen and then uses it at a really important point. We saw it in the first, she used it on 20 and she saved it till now just to try and extend this run that they're on. Brilliant variation.
I think at times he overuses that inside-out backhand defense, if you know what I mean, Chris, when the shuttle comes down Fang Yang Zhe's forehand side and he still tries to play the backhand defense. I think he's trying to play it when it's too wide of him. And that he, he would be better to try and play the forehand defense. I think for me, the most integral thing is just got to make sure his backswing's not too big. Sometimes he does over exaggerate it feels that backswing to generate the power he's got to keep it out in front and just punch it to give his opponents no time amazing defense did, Wang Dongping did incredible there to get him out of trouble Great shot there from Yuta, really opened the Chinese up. You can see Huang Dongping still off balance when she was playing that defensive shot. Yeah, that's nice. That's good work from Higashino. He's back level. This is great serve from Utah. Returns going upwards, but yeah, Arisa, incredible. Two great cutouts and the placement as well on the cutouts. Brilliant. The stits. Oh, they're challenging. Challenges out. If they're wrong on this, then they've got no challenges left. And I think they're wrong. Oh no, they're right. Good challenge. Service over. 15, 14. That's a great serve. Yep. Super shot. Well, I reckon that might be the second longest rally of the match. It's the shot before for me that did, did the damage, the punch clear, got Quang Long Ping out, out of position, off balance, and then the smash. It was a good smash, well placed. Indeed, it was the second longest rally of the match, and funnily enough, in the opening game, the longest rally, 102 shots, happened at 40 near all. Here in the second game at 15-14. 
obviously right in the middle of the second half of the of the games. Long punishing rallies. Woefully short, didn't even reach the double service line. Again, though, you can see Fung was at full stretch when he's doing the lift. It's the only reason I can assume that the lift was of such poor quality, but brilliant smash from Utah. Pinned up a two point cushion on the run of three straight points. I describe her reliable tense situation good serve and look at that for a, a third shot from Wang Dongping fantastic placement as you can see her Arissa committed to the forehand Take from Ifeng. He's, um, he's on balance, he's in position, and he's above tape. Doesn't have to be exceptional, he's just got to fade it in. Keep his opponents hitting in an upward direction. This is a really big point now. Yeah, that's well taken by Higoshino. Well, well, well. Two point advantage and two points away from taking this second game. Good shot there from Utah. Fantastic spot in the gap. Not such good control from Fung at the front. That's a good return. 18-19. Every time she's been called upon, Wang Dongping, she's delivered so far. And it's a game point opportunity for the Japanese to send this to a deciding game. They just sort of gave Fung nothing and he forced it. Oh, that's well saved. That looked like a nervous flick serve to me. Yeah, Hang on Pink, she read it so well. 
well-placed attack and then sets a partner up. You can see Higashino when she tried to relift that, it was just in such an awkward spot, just away from her right hip. Oh, it's gone wrong. That's a huge miss. And having just saved a game point opportunity, now Fang Yangzhe and Huang Dongping have a match point opportunity. Yeah, and it was the change of pace in the attacking play. I know that the drop shot wasn't uh, the actual winner, but I think the change of pace contributed to the error from Wang Dongping. Twenty-one all. It's wide, and now a second match point opportunity for the Chinese combination. Set up with a brilliant flick serve and the delight all too obvious from Fang Yangzhe and Huang Dongping. Incidentally, we have Huang Dongping catching her partner's racket when he threw it in the air. That was pretty impressive. Thought for a second we were going to see a dance then from Fang. That would have been incredible. 23 21. Match one by in the second game. 21-19, So two straight games, and it means that we'll have an all-Chinese mixed doubles final tomorrow. The number one and the number two seeds. Crowd is incredibly excited at the, the possibility of getting one of his rackets. Throws his racket in the air. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see. Oh, yes, there's one Dongping catching it. That is cool. Confirmation of the scoreline 21 19, 23 21, having saved a game point. take leave of centre stage and we now know all the semi uh, all the finalists for tomorrow because we've concluded semi-final day what a day it has been 
And we're going to be starting with men's doubles, and you don't get any better than this. The reigning world champions against the current world number ones, Kang and Seul against Liang and Huang. Then it's women's singles, and it is uh, Tai Su Ying, the three-time former champion in a record seven final here against Carolina Marin. Carolina Marin trying to become the first European to win the women's singles title. Uh, women's doubles, I beg your pardon, would be second. Uh, the number one and two seeds, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yifan against Abe Karnar and Li So He. Uh, fourth will be the mixed doubles, an all Chinese affair with the number one seeds against the defending champions of Fang Yangzhe and Huang Dongping against Sheng Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong. Uh, then we will finish with men's singles and a repeat of the group match on Wednesday. Victor Axelson on a quest to win a record fifth men's singles title at this event up against the 2018 winner Shi Uchi of China. So once again to recap, men's doubles, then women's doubles, women's singles, mixed doubles, and we'll end with men's singles. So much to look forward to with the finals uh, tomorrow. All finals start at 2 p.m. local time. Uh, that's 0600 GMT. Well, it's been a great semi-finals day. Uh, probably the match of the day uh, was Tai Su Ying. And coming from 10, 19 down. As I say, finals tomorrow at 2 p.m. local time, 0600 GMT from all of us here until the finals tomorrow, and especially from Chris Langridge and myself, Jill Clark. Bye for now.